Hey, what's up guys? Ryan here with Tampa Carry. So you probably saw the video that I did about the Springfield Hellcat. Uh, fired 2,000 rounds through the gun. Did relatively well and uh, I was pretty impressed. But today, we're gonna put it through a little bit more of a torture test. You know, the gun did so well um, that uh, we're just gonna see what it really takes to jack this gun up Okay, so first, gonna dump, you know, a couple rounds through the gun, make sure everything still works, and then uh, we'll kind of see what happens from there. All right, so I just loaded up a brand new, fresh mag. Oh, oh my gosh. So, it's not really even that dirty. We're just gonna rub it in there just a little bit more. Flip it around. All right. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it has a little bit of sand, but it's not uh, anything super, super crazy. Okay, so still not, not good enough. Let's, uh, let's try to really get a bunch of sand in there and see what happens. Oh yeah, when I put that round in, you could hear like the sand squishing in. That's awesome. Oh yeah, so that's, like there's sand all up in there now, baby. Okay, I don't wanna shake it off too much. Okay. Still working. I mean, that was a lot of sand. Now we all know that when you're choosing a EDC gun, you have to have a firearm that can handle a lot of dirt. So we're just gonna fill the mag with sand. This would never happen in real life. Look at that. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Ooh, all right. So it did get a malfunction. I guess I was expecting that. Oh yeah, this magazine is totally destroyed. Okay, well, that's a limitation for sure. and just failure to lock to the rear. So we found the limitations with the mag. Okay, so for this test, I've got the Hellcat. It's completely loaded. So I'm just gonna lay that sucker down in the dirt. We're gonna cover it up. Okay, that's pretty Okay, now we got a uh, Malfunction there. Let me turn around so you can see it. You know what though? Surprisingly well. Like, look at this. There's still grass hanging out the bottom. The sucker runs, uh, runs pretty damn good. I mean, that was a lot of sand. That was a lot. Uh, I did that with a Glock one time and this sucker did not work at all. Okay, so we tried the gun it with uh, sand and it worked. Now I've got some like dirt and stuff that's over here by this tree. We're gonna load this sucker. Ooh, it was hard to go into battery, let me tell ya. And we're just gonna take some of this. I don't even know if any of this can even get deep inside of there. Cause it's like old dead lawn clippings. Okay, let's see. You think it's gonna work? I don't know. Ooh. It's working. Man, sucker is awesome. Oh yeah. Remember when you were a kid playing in the mud? My boys love doing this. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. 
I'm just gonna take this brand new pistol that I paid $630 for. I'm just gonna set it in there. Maybe a little bit more water, some more sand. Oh yeah, beautiful. It's the American dream. Look at that gun. Let's see if it shoots. Nope. Okay, so we have broken it. Okay, so it's got quite a bit of mud and dirt on it. Uh, clearly, it doesn't work very well when you pour massive amounts of mud on it. I'm just gonna wash it off a little bit, see if that's gonna fix up the trigger. Cause what happened is the trigger all just got jammed together. Oh, and there it goes. Well, the Springfield Hellcat definitely held up to the test of firing 2,000 rounds through it. Besides that one massive issue. Uh, so if you haven't seen that already, watch that video. And as long as you're not planning on, you know, burying this thing inside of the sand, getting mud all up in the action and stuff, then the gun seems to work pretty well. But I do have one more test that I want to try. <sighs> Man, that is refreshing. This gun officially has the endorsement of Ryan G. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon and I'll see you next time.